I've been looking forward to today because one, Jim's going to let me start this video all on my own, and two, he's going to give me an excellent lesson on how to shoot 1,760 yards after last time he taught me how to shoot 1,000 yards. I'm hoping we can have a little bit more fun in this video. <laughs> Are you kidding? We always have fun. <laughs> and he's going to give me my first lesson. All right. So you want to see the gun we're shooting today? Yes. Okay. This is the gun I've kind of been gushing about for a week. This is called the Sako 90. This is the Quest version. And when I first saw the specs of this gun, I thought, man, it's way up there in price. Is it really worth that for a factory gun to step up that much? I kind of expected it to be like every other rifle ever, but it has just blown me away. It's shooting so well. But all I've shot as far as ammo with that gun is the Sako Powerhead Blade 170 grain, and it's shooting well under half him away. I haven't tried the match ammo, and I really just want to throw a random 300 Win Mag load at it to see if it's the gun that's just amazingly accurate with whatever, or if it's just that combination that's just magic. We're going to test it at short range, go out to a mile, ready for some fun. Yeah. We just pulled up to the range. Wait. Now go. <laughs> we just pulled up to the range and Jim is ready to give me my lesson. So I'm going to get down on this gun and then we're going to do what? Tell yeah, me. so we're going to just shoot at 100 yards first and we're obviously we're going to double check our zero, make sure everything's right there. But also I just want to show what this gun is capable of because it's got to justify its price tag and it's so good. <laughs> like I've just been gushing on this thing. Okay. Okay. So... Perfect, you lie, lay down in a perfect straight line so your shoulder is square to it. Yes. So it doesn't rock you off the target after a shot. I'm gonna put a cartridge in, the bolt's still open. Okay. Okay, so you, yeah, you got your left hand behind this squeezing up the bag. And you're, the thing I remember from last time so well is how you taught me to get on the gun to like be able to see through the scope. Yep. That so can you so see cool. the target? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, perfect. So with this gun, this is a heavier cartridge than we shot last time. Last time we were shooting a, a 6.5 Creedmoor in a Bagara Premier competition, and it's a heavy gun. And so with just a 6.5 Creedmoor, you, it's not going to rock around too bad. This is a 300 Win Mag and a hunting weight rifle. And so if the, sorry, can you scoot back for just one second? If the bag gets all twisted and stuff, when that gun recoils, it's gonna go crazy. So you have it perfect, just right in the middle. You want it to just sit nicely in there so that it tracks straight back instead of just going crazy because then you'll just lose your sight picture every time. So and wax me? No, not necessarily. You'll just lose sight of the target and you have to find it again every time. Wait. Why is there not a backstop pad on this one? <laughs> Peyton, we got to get on Peyton. So Peyton, you guys have met in their videos, our engineer, he's making about one a week, a new style for a different gun, a backstop recoil pad, but don't have one yet for this. Well, I'll make him do it sheesh, next week. Sheesh. Get him on it. This is one of the products that I'm really excited to share with you because I love to go e-biking with Jim. This is a commuter bike. It's called the Mockwell Mesa Lite. It has a long range battery option of up to 60 miles on one charge. It can go about 30 miles an hour. Plus it has the same amount of payload that all of the other hunting bikes have. But what's cool about this is that it's good for women because I can lift it up into the truck all by myself. If you go check it out today at mockwheel.com, use our coupon code BACKFIRE so that you can get an amazing deal for the price of just the regular bike. You can almost buy all of their accessories plus the long range battery. So go check it out in the link below, mockwheel.com. Now this one, last time, remember we were putting our thumb on the side. Mm -hmm. That's great for a, you know, a precision style gun. There's more of a hunting weight, so you're gonna put your thumb here so you can like, use that wrist to kind of be soaking up a little bit of the recoil as it's coming. Like that? Yeah, and it's still putting your hand in a good position so you're pulling that trigger straight back. Just a different style of stock. Okay, now Garrett's phone is down there. What if I miss? You won't miss, you're gonna get it. And I'm going for the top left target. Yep. Now, you haven't shot this much recoil before, so just make sure it's just firm against your shoulder and that you have good contact. You know, you're not just touching half inch of the pad. I can't even really tell, but I'm just gonna go for it. 
Okay, that was interesting. How did it feel? It was good. It's really, Actually, it so I, when Twinkie shot this, when we were hunting, he shot it and he looked back and he's like, even even shooting that, that, that felt like I was shooting suppressed. Because that's a 300 Win Mag and a reasonably lightweight gun. It should be kicking pretty hard. Yeah. And the recoil pad's very firm. It's not really do, doing much. Um, yeah, but there's something it. about that stock design. It feels good. Yeah. I felt it uh, like up here a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Is that, yeah, what, did good. I have it in the wrong spot? No, it looked right to me. Okay. So I do it again. So how was your shot? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, check in here. Let's see how we did. I think I'm on the outer ring to the right. Other thing, your parallax is set to infinity right now. Mm -hmm. And this is only 100 yards, so be sure to change this style to get everything in focus. Okay, let's just shoot a little group of three now. Pick somewhere else on the target to be shooting. Okay. Just pick a new target. Okay. And let's just see how close we can put three shots. Okay. I'm going for the top right. Good. Your finger looked great. That was great. I felt really cool. <laughs> well, you looked really cool. Okay, there's need... one already in there. Oh. Okay, that one kind of hurt. Oh, it did? Yeah. I just need that backstop pad. Gotta have it. Gotta have it. Okay, this is going to go right in the middle, actually. I can feel it. Okay, here we go. Awesome. Yeah. Felt okay? I think I might get a bruise on my collarbone. <laughs> okay, let's go try okay, it. let's go see how we did. No! The greatest group. What do you mean? That's really good. No. Remember yes, how well you were shooting? Look at, look at it. They're like in the, they're in the circle. No. Okay. So remember last time you were, you were shooting well under an inch. And so I'm, I'm not worried about where it is specifically on the target. That's going to matter soon. But right now I just want to see them close together. And this is about two inches there. And this gun can deliver pretty tiny groups. Okay. That's not the gun. That's the shoot. <laughs> <laughs> it is. But you were looking good. I want <laughs> It is. Well, it is yeah. because I've, I've just shot this gun. I know, I know what it. Can I know do. because it's hard to just get it. It's hard to stay steady on there. Was were you nervous about the recoil? Do you feel like you rushed anything? No, or? it's just getting on the gun that is hard. Just getting through the scope and being able to see through it. Getting yes, getting getting to be able to see through it and then like have it not go black and then clear and just then black and then clear. clear. And then. All right, we're going to sit down and I'm going to try to show you the accuracy of this gun. Problem is, it is pretty windy. We got mm, up to 15 mile an hour gusts. I want to show you what that actually does. So we're at 100 yards. If we go from zero between wind and then we get a 15 mile an hour gust, that pushes us off a full MOA. That's 1.047 inches if the wind just shifts from zero to 15 between your shots. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's that's a half it. inch group right there. It is shooting good out there. Let's come just one click to the right. We're ready to start stretching this out. Okay. <laughs> ready for some fun? Well, yeah. Let's just shoot the 1,760 yards. I'm just hoping I get on the target. You're gonna do good. Okay, we have no wind right now. Let's take advantage of it. So we have uh, our first target is at 488 yards. It's an Ipsic target, so it kind of looks like a man. The problem that most people have is, so put it on that, on that Ipsic target and range it and tell me what number you get. 544. Okay, the reason you're getting that is because you're trying to aim at the target. And if you miss just barely to the sides, you're shooting way past it. So now aim at the base of the target, like where the metal stand hits the ground underneath the target. Four hundred seventy-two. That's the real range. 
So that's an easy mistake to make when you're shooting long range is if you're just, if you're ranging on the target instead of the base of the target, mm -hmm. you may be off by a lot. Impact. I, I hit it. You crushed it. I well done. I heard it. <laughs> that's right. That was Good neat. job. All right. Okay, we've been kind of toying around with it the whole time, but we got to talk about this gun, give it an actual review. So this is the Sako 90 Quest. Yeah, it's a premium gun, but you feel it when you touch it. The carbon fiber has kind of a, just a little slightly rough texture to it. It just feels a little grippy, doesn't feel as glass slippy. It feels really good just when you touch it. I love the stock. In fact, I might say it's the best stock design I've ever shot for a Magnum rifle. The reason that I like it is that you get to put your, your wrist in there to kind of soak up a little bit of the recoil. If you just have your thumb to the side, yes, it gets you to the right, th the right finger position to pull the trigger, but also you just, you now the, all the recoil is just coming back and we, we just want to use as much body as we can to, to stop it. I will say that after the recoil, nearly every time I'm aim, aimed to the left of the target because we're kind of slipping off, uh, off that hand. So it, it maybe in practice didn't work as well as I would thought because we are kind of slipping to the left but at the same time, we're closer to the target after the recoil than I would normally expect to be. And so I, I'm pretty happy with it. I love the feeling of it. Adjustability is incredibly simple for both length of pull and the comb. Push your button, down and up. Really good system, totally solid. Love that. It has Sling swivel studs, which I don't love seeing. I wish we could have at least gone to some cutie flush cups and or some Picatinny here, um, both in the back. But this one is at least a little bit hidden. The problem is you have your bags and if you get these sling swivel studs, they punch holes in your bags. I don't know how many bags I've ruined because of hunting rifle sling swivel studs. The trigger is nice and light. It's going just slightly under two pounds. It's Sako's own trigger feels really, really good. It feels like a much more expensive trigger. The action is flawless. It has fed every single time perfectly. When you look at the gun, you say, I mean, it looks cool, but how could it be worth that price until you start to shoot it? I know we have, you know, a new shooter that uh, the recoil feels a lot. It's a 300 Win Mag with no break. Um, for me, you know, shooting a lot, it, it, this gun I feel like mitigates the recoil really well for the cartridge that it's in. This is a 24 and a half inch barrel. It does come threaded, of course, so you can put a suppressor or brake on it if you'd like to. But I kind of have a rule when a gun is shooting, you know, when we're down to half minute or something in a hunting rifle, I don't want to touch the scope. I don't want to touch the muzzle device. I don't want to change anything at all because it's working. Um, and I know that it can be rare to find a hunting rifle that can shoot like that. Um, so I, I, I can experiment and see what they do, but that's why I, I haven't really. Now, the one thing that I was concerned about when I first got the rifle is I was a little bit concerned about the finish. It looks gorgeous having all that just naked carbon fiber, right? The reason that a lot of companies want to paint their stock, uh, carbon fiber stock, is because if there's any imperfection in the weave, it shows, right? And so not having any paint here, I was a little bit nervous. Ah, am I going to have to baby this thing? And so I just made the decision I'm going to sacrifice for the internet and I'm not going to baby this at all. I'm just going to use this. And so we went on the elk hunt. It was rattling around on a snowmobile and stuff uh, for several days. And I don't see even the tiniest anything that has happened to that stock. And it looks, yeah, it looks absolutely flawless from that. So they have some, a really nice finish. Got your um, three, uh, three position safety, well, two positions on the actual safety, but then we have a bolt unlock here as well. You guys, I hate to say it because I know it's a premium rifle, but it's the finest hunting rifle I have ever shot. I said that when I did in my SHOT Show video, I said that. Um, my friend Adam, Hootie Who, 
also has a Saco 90, and I watched his review. He also had crazy, crazy good accuracy, and the words that he used were, it's the finest rifle he has shot. It just feels like a fine rifle. And so there are a lot of good rifles on the market. No, you don't have to spend this much on a rifle, but I've got to admit it, it it's worth it. It's pretty, it's, it's, it really has just blown me away. I honestly don't even know what I would change for this concept of a rifle. It's flawless. Okay, next target. I love this. 596 too close let's go further okay. oh no wah, wah. we gotta come back and finish this video tomorrow i was gonna say this video failed <laughs> so this scope only has about a rev and a half of of travel and that's that's on me it's not the scope's fault um I just didn't realize that it was limiting out here. And so this scope actually just will not dial out to that distance that we need. How far does it go? Uh, it won't quite get us to a thousand yards. Aw, dang. To be continued. All right, Gia Dois, this is the Saco Match Ammo. We switched to this because it's shooting 250 feet per second faster. And I actually took the time to shoot some decent groups with these things. And it's shooting just almost as well as the Powerhead Blade. The Powerhead Blade, I was getting a little bit better groups with, but this thing is dang close. This gun is, I mean, I'm sh I shot four groups back to back that were at half an inch or one of the groups was 0.65. So we're gonna walk out 300 yards 700 yards, 1100 yards, and then we're going past a mile, 1876 yards. See if we can get it done. New shooter out to that far. How you feeling today, Em? Well, I think- No, I'm... no, no, where's the confidence? I know, I'm feeling really good, okay. <laughs> but Garrett, look okay, at show my this. shoulder. I, I couldn't believe that. Look at the bruise from shooting yesterday. I am nervous and I think Payton needs to make a backstop for this. The one thing I am saying, and you said this yesterday, and I, I should have corrected, the, this is a little bit too far in. I'd take your, your pad out a little bit more onto your shoulder. It's just a little bit more meaty here. Okay, here it goes. Perfect! Perfect impact right in the middle. Ka-ching! Way to go! Yeah? This bump, your husband. Nice! Okay. That was perfect, dead center. Love right. it. Great. We flew the drone out there so that we can get some footage. Okay, we're gonna go to the next, do you feel okay? Yeah. Oh yeah. shoot, did it hurt? It's okay. Sorry, okay, Peyton? Peyton, when you're watching this video, your boss would like you to make a backstop for the Saco 90. All right. Okay, we're going to 700. You ready? I'm jazzed. This is awesome. Uh, jazzed? <laughs> what just happened? I'm jazzed. I think my testosterone just dropped a lot. <laughs> Our distance is now 721 yards and your wind is going to be 7 tenths right. Breaker. Oh, that was a heartbreaker. I couldn't. It was off by this far. Okay, let's send that one more time. That could have been a, just a bad wind call because the elevation was perfect. When the elevation screwed up, it's usually the shooter because we know the range finder's on if the app is correct. But when the windage is off, it's probably me. Okay, so let's cut our wind down to four tenths right. Oh, oh, no. I mean, we were inches, I, inches, inches. I must All be. right, let's go ahead and leave that one because we know the gun is, we're, we're on here. We're within inches of the target. Okay. 
So we're gonna call that good. Oh, oh. just high! Okay, bottom left Thank corner. God. Tell the nice people on YouTube what's happening. <laughs> I can't do it. I thought this was gonna be fun and it just is painful. This is painful. I'm sorry. So let's have another video and we'll try again. <laughs> it's okay. You do not she keeps saying, like, it's okay, I can shoot a couple more. No, we're we're not gonna do that. It's okay. We are back for more. This is day three, taking the Saco 90 Quest out to a mile. First day was my fault. I just wasn't thinking. I brought a scope that didn't have enough revolutions of adjustment. Second day, the problem was there was just too much sage. We just couldn't see where the shots were going, so it wasn't realistic. We were just gonna shoot for nothing. And now this girl is ready for more, aren't you, Em? Yeah! You know you are. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel, nervous, excited? Well, I'm definitely nervous. I'm like on the spot here and I've never, I'm not a good shooter. Yeah, you are. You're going to do awesome. I don't know if I can get way out there, even though Jim, you helped me get the gun on. I think you can do it. So we got a muzzle brake on here this time and a scope that's a pound heavier. So only you're shooting like 40% of the recoil from last time. Well, so. I'm all healed up now. So I should be more. able to take some more. You're going to be awesome. Let's do this. <laughs> okay. Okay, left edge, 13 MOA. No, it's still 14. Left edge, 14. Oh, oh just left. So okay, close. just left. Closer. You're just one foot left. Let's see if you got one. Oh. No, you do, okay. Okay, go ahead, send her. You were just go one foot to the right of that. Vertical was perfect. So close. Oh, that was one target width to the right. Come one target with left. Oh. Oh, oh. Just low right. Come a little bit left. Keep the vertical the same. I don't know why it was low. It hit my thumb, maybe that's why. Doing good. All right, this is the last shot we got. Oh, 10 feet to the right. Oh, we got defeated. That's all right, that was fun. Oh, so we couldn't quite pull it off. You had bullets just <laughs> dancing around the target though. You were so close. I'm sorry. No, there's no I'm sorry. You did awesome. That skirt gun was a little bit intimidating for you. You pushed through it and you were shooting really well. That is impressive. If you guys have not shot a mile, I would call it 20 times more difficult than shooting a thousand yards. <laughs> a thousand yards is pretty simple. Uh, but at a mile, that bullet is dropping so fast that was, it's tough to get right. Well, I was barely making any difference and it went from three feet to the right to 10 feet to the right. Yeah, so it, it can feel like it's your fault. It's not, it's just, that's the difference in the wind gusts. And since it takes you a little bit longer to get on the scope and stuff, the real trick for shooting this is you shoot one, boom, 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 get, you know, rack in another one really quick and shoot another before the wind switches and then you can get it. But if it takes 20, 30 seconds between shots, it's just tough. But so I, you, were, you were doing good though. I did spot my impact once. That's fantastic. <laughs> well, super fun. Thanks yeah. for joining us in this video. See you in the next one.